All right, here's the hat. And I found it. Yeah, going with this one. Perfect. Done. Let's go. <laughs> We made it. Aloha. You wanna go to that beach? I'm gonna go boogie boogie. Okay. I have such a headache right now. I got tossed around so bad. Huge wave coming at me. like, uh, what do I do? I just got knocked oh, over, no. hit my foot off a rock, hit my arm off a rock. And then I was riding one right into the beach and I see this huge, one of these big rocks here. Off of my boogie board hit it, I skipped off a big one and then landed on another one. Scraped down my chest. Basically a surfer. Sure. Yeah. You wanna get a sunburn and ruin your vacation, watch now. So I was boogie boarding yesterday and I landed on a rock and this is gonna kill. Oh yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Wasn't that bad. Oh. Look at this place. Birds chirping, palm trees palming, moon mooning. <laughs> it's early in the morning. This is our, technically our first day. We're on Hawaii Island. It's five minutes to eight in the morning. I think we're headed to... Makalawina Beach. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. It looks nice on Google Maps though. Did you want to take the top off? Oh yeah, let's take the top off. All right, as we were saying, now we have the top off. Let's go. My definition of paradise. Holy mother of her. Down to the beach I'm strolling. Is there any water in my lens? Yeah, it's covered. So lava is on both my bucket list and Becky's bucket list. She wants to see it. I want to fly a helicopter over it. So we've rented a helicopter today and we're gonna make that happen. Writing down my frequencies. So excited. We got half hour and we're headed to the airport for the helicopter. I am so, no, don't touch it. I got my patch on. The side effects have hit. A little bit of sunburn going. And I'm really nervous about flying. Not just because it's him flying, but mostly With because- this guy. I'm afraid I'm gonna throw up. Uh, shall we go? Ready. Helicopter is amazing, but we got to fly over lava. Oh my god! Bucket list check. It was like, like bubbling. Yeah, it was great. Like that was the coolest. Besides like the stuff in Yellowstone, that was like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. The patch worked awesome. I didn't Excellent. get sick. Let's get some food. And then let's go to bed because I'm so tired and we're gonna get up early tomorrow and do something. Yes, okay. Bye. Bye. We're going to some waterfalls now. I don't can't really say the name of them. They begin with a W. It's just outside of Hilo. Kind of excited to go through the mountain region and to see how the sites change. Wailuku River accounts for 25% of river drowning deaths in the state. In the Hawaiian language, Wai means freshwater and Luku means destruction. So it means essentially river of destruction. River of destruction! I got burnt to a crisp uh, yesterday, even though I was wearing sunscreen. I want to get a sunburn and ruin your vacation. Ruin your vacation. Ruin your vacation. Ah! Oh, the struggle is real. Here I am going around Hawaii like this. Like I have never left. It's <laughs> like you never left Vancouver. Yeah. I'm uh, feeling like I should have worn long pants because there's lots of things brushing against my legs, which I'm afraid might be bugs or animals. And ooh, a waterfall. 
Whoa, 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 pause for a minute. We forgot to introduce Wade. We met on the side of the road on the way up to the waterfall. Check out his Instagram, his photos are great. Back to the vlog. Nice, huh? Very nice. So our car got broken into. I just went through the food bag in the back that looked like it was untouched and this was in it. So we're very lucky. The moral of the story is always put food on top of your belongings. The thieves don't steal food. Our, our road trip kit got stolen. So shit, now we have to get to know fucking. But anyway, it could be worse. We have our health, the GoPro is still safe. Now we just have to deal with a broken glass in a rental car. So that's a bit of a drag. The police came, they dusted for some prints here. Probably mine. Yeah, anyway. So our whole front two seats were showered in glass. We'll just place this over the glass shards and uh, good to go. Went back to Alamo Car Rental and swapped out our Jeep for a new one. And our snorkeling adventure is at 4.30 and it's 4.31 now. We're a little bit late for that. Hopefully they don't leave without us. If we don't get to swim with the manta rays, I'm gonna be quite disappointed. We're about to go night snorkeling with manta rays. We barely made it, but they waited for us because they're awesome. Thank you, Big Island Divers. It's like he's praying to the motion sickness gods who smiled favorably upon her yesterday for our helicopter ride. Hello! Hi! Hey. Are you Josh? Josh? Yes! Awesome. Chris. Chris and Thanks Rebecca. Thanks for waiting for us. You nervous? Yep. What are you nervous about? Being on a boat and shark. Sharks. He saved the fish. Here's on. O O T D. You ready? Nice touch, hot chocolate. Why, day three. Still sunburned. We're gonna get some coffee. We woke up early to see the little waterfront strip here. We're going to volcanoes this afternoon on foot. We just grabbed breakfast from this little coffee shop, which is right on the beach. And they are the sole provider for one of the Kona coffee bean farms. Becky tried a few. I don't really like coffee. People are almost as weirded out when I say I don't drink coffee as they are when I say I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> I think we're just gonna go walk on the beach after this. We're driving to Volcanoes National Park and we're hoping to see the volcanoes again this time from land. Everybody go on eBay right now and look for a DJI Car Phantom 4 battery charger adapter. It's a very specific item and I bet if you ever see one up in the next week or two from Hilo, Hawaii, it is a guarantee it's the one that got stolen from us. There's probably only three of them on the island right now and one of them is hot. So I'm really excited about going to this uh, Volcanoes National Park today and I really hope that we see some live lava flowing. LAVA. 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 Yeah, it's lava. Lava. Lava? Yeah. When we drove past that one place called Lava Java and you said Lava Java. <laughs> well, what do you call those noodles that you eat? They're another word for noodles. Spaghetti? No, it starts with a P. Pho? No, not pho. Pasta. Oh, pasta. Pa pasta. Yeah, pasta. We're gonna go have some pasta at Eastside Mario's. Mario's, yeah. Mario. Mario, Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi. Oh my god, you are so wrong. You are so wrong. We're gonna go eat some pasta at Eastside Mario's before we go down to the regatta. 
We're gonna eat some pasta at Eastside Mario's before we go to the regatta. It's for, it's for, it's regatta if you're from Newfoundland. It's the St. John's regatta, Chris. Everywhere else is regatta. Just have to agree to disagree. No, we will not <laughs> agree to disagree. Driving right now, I would look up the Merriam-Webster pronunciations. Just keep playing those words on loop. Hava. Pavo. No, Mario. No. Java. Pa pasta. Java. Buddy, I'm gonna go down and have a have a java, and then I'm gonna have a pasta, and then I'm gonna go play Mario with Luigi on it. Don't make fun of my outfit today, because if I get a burn on top of a burn, I will die. It's on burns. Burns on burns on burns. I want to go see where are the best places to see. Lava. Why are you saying, why are you shaking your head like that? Because it's lava. Okay, let's go in. Lava. Lava. Java. Oh, we're not doing that one. Pasta. 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 Regatta. We have to do the tandem bike. Are we gonna do the tandem bike? Do, let's do the tandem bike. Is that gonna work? Like the handles are right down by your butt. I think it's the best idea we ever had. Please get the tandem bike. Okay. Eight kilometers. Are you excited about our tandem bike adventure? I always wanted to ride a tandem bike with you. <laughs> this could either end in two ways. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Or we're gonna be going over this crazy lava rock. You're gonna be extreme. I'm gonna be flipping out. And we're gonna fall over and cut up our legs and get Pele's hair stuck in our skin. It's taking our relationship to the next level. I feel like you don't know somebody until you've ridden a tandem bike with them. This could make or break our relationship. I don't think so. On how this bike ride goes. I really don't think so. I think it might. We have not ridden a tandem bike before. Okay, so we just rented a bike, a single bike, for two of us to ride, aka a tandem bike, to ride in the rain to try and see lava. Now apparently there's only a 50% chance that we're going to have good enough visibility to see the lava. We're going to take the risk for a 50% chance to see lava. That's the stakes here. We're either going to be really happy or really disappointed. Either way, we're still going to be really wet. Grab a friend and experience twice the fun with our tandem bicycles. <laughs> One of our most popular bicycles. Availability is very limited. What? It's the most popular? Apparently. Who the hell would order a tandem bike other than us? Us, apparently. It says 26 inch Pacific tandem bicycle makes the journey to the lava a great adventure. One piece cranks, two piece cranks, three piece cranks. Great, I know. great size for most adults. P.S. Manta rays last night were magical. We have had terrible luck with the GoPros this trip. Luckily we bought the extra session because the Hero 5 Black crapped out or the SD card stopped working last night. But then we were in the helicopters a couple days ago. The GoPro wouldn't connect to my phone, but it usually does, and it was what well, just wasn't connecting, so I couldn't check the framing. So I just set the GoPro basically what I thought would be a proper framing. Turns out I'm shooting video of my knees, so that was stupid. And then the second GoPro, I guess the mic adapter wasn't working. We were supposed to have a feed from the mic when we were talking, but nothing. Hopefully that's the end of our bad luck with cameras. But the guy did say, Oh man, first time flying the 44, you're killing it! Just like put his hands back, he's like, why am I even here? <laughs> just like, yes! So we're 30 minutes away from the bike place, it's still pouring. This is always what we do. We go on road trips and we, we're so focused on going to the destination that we forget to get groceries or forget to eat normal food. And we end up living on snacks like granola bars, macadamia nuts, Twix, McDonald's, yeah. Gatorade. Check back in 30 more minutes. We have two. Great the elements. Growing up in St. John's, Newfoundland and living a year in rainy Vancouver, it's been training. It's been I've training. been training all my life for this moment. But Hopefully we're it'll be worth out. it. Hopefully we'll get that 50% chance of seeing something. Yeah. Or we're gonna brave the eight kilometer bike ride in the rain only to get there and see nothing. Sick whip. Tandem bike time, let's do it. <laughs> We don't fall. I can't see any obstacles. Are you pedaling? Yes, I'm pedaling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. There's like shit on the lens. <laughs> We're halfway there. Well, I should clean that off. Just a little bit. Rocks. Yeah. The lens is completely covered in full of rocks. I have no regrets. I see you in two miles. I'm fucking rotted. Can we just walk up on this hill? No. Do a happy camper. How are you? Four. Here we are. Here we are. I'm covered in fucking mud. Get lava! We made it. Look at these interesting lava folds. Sick helmet, bro.
our tandem bike. Good to go. No one stole our sick whip. We're not going to film anymore until we're back because I don't want to ride back with one hand on a muddy trail in the dark. How's it going there, little buddy? There's a rock in my butt cheeks. We just rode a tandem bike in the rain and mud for eight miles. For some reason, we were the only ones that were completely covered in mud. It said recommended time, 30 to 45 minutes. I think we probably did it in like 20. Yeah. I am covered from head to toe in mud. So is this camera. This camera is so filthy right now. Turning every ring, it's like crunching. Oh, that's so gross. So it's a lot cleaner than it was. This thing's just covered in lava dirt. Look at your face. Yeah, they're messed up. Anyway. Tandem bike, I really like to ride with my best friend. So going there, Becky was not happy. And then on the ride back, she was in better spirits and she sang that song the entire four miles. Nonetheless, we made it back. My clothes is ruined, but we saw lava and that was awesome. The mud in my pants looks like I shit myself. Oh God. We're never doing this again. Never. <laughs> Day four, vacation. We're gonna go try to find some valleys. I don't really know how to say the names of them, but all Becky wants to do is veg by the beach. I just want to veg. I have plenty of uh, days to veg when I go home and you're gonna be hanging in Maui by the pool. Must be the smooth lava stones. Hike to Polo Valley was a success. Our car did not get broken into this time, which is a bonus. I don't know if you guys can see this little rainbow here. This drive has been the most scenic drive yet. Okay, we didn't quite make it to Waipo Valley, but it's gonna be dark when we get there. So we saw this amazing sunset. It's probably gonna be the last scenic thing you see in our video. Bye. We made it. We finally made it to this sacred scenic Waipio Valley and if you just look over here we can see nothing but blackness. We didn't make it before sundown. But that's okay we saw a ton of other cool stuff on this trip. <laughs> oh I can see eyes. Where? Right there. Becky's freaking out right now. Come on let's go. Why are you freaking out? Can you hear all those noises? Yeah they're just crickets and things. And things. All right we tried. It was an epic fail. We can't see anything. There's absolutely no light on the valley so oh well. At least we tried. Yeah. We will see you guys, however, in Maui next week. Goodbye. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Where are you ready to go? Maui. Feel the good vibrations? So much inspiration? <laughs>